Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. This is Eric Lofholm. I want to welcome all of you to our 15-minute daily motivational call. This call is better than a cup of coffee to get your day off to a great start. If you're right-handed, take your right hand. If you're left-handed, take your left hand. Pat yourself on the back. Tell yourself, great job for being here in class this morning. For those of you that are here on Facebook, type into the chat. Today is going to be a great day. Today is going to be a great day. Or if you're listening on the podcast or the conference call, just write it down in your notes. Type it or write it. Today is going to be a great day. I want to give a special shout out to Harry Newhan. Harry launched a brand new podcast today. Harry is one of my business partners. And this is a podcast for sales managers. It's a collaboration between him and me and, and Eric Offham International. So if you're a sales manager, you're going to want to subscribe to this podcast. And if you are on a team and you have a sales manager, we're coming out with fresh content every single week. Harry's interviewing a successful sales manager or sales leader. So you can text me or email me for today's podcast on YouTube. We'll get it over to you and uh, you can either, if you're a manager, enjoy it yourself, or if you have, if you're on a team, share it with your manager. You're going to absolutely love it. Well, today's a special day for me because the kids are back in school. I have my three teenage daughters, and school is open in Rockland, California, where I live. It's the first normal school day since all this hit over a year ago. So that's a great day for me. I'm excited for my kids and I'm excited for our community, and uh, just it's one more step back to getting to a normal life. So I got a couple of ideas I want to share with you today, and um, one of the things I love about teaching is when you learn a good idea or a great idea, you put that idea right on your success tool belt, and you have that idea for the rest of your life. Now, I learned this one over a decade ago. And it goes like this. Of all the knowledge that exists in the world, we're going to say that you, me, all of us, we know that we know 3% of all the knowledge that exists in the world. So there's all these things you know you know. You know that you know that you're on the 15-minute daily motivational call. You know that you know it's Tuesday if you're watching this live or you're watching the recording. You know whatever day it is. You know you know your phone number. You know you know where you live, you know you know your job, you know you know your kids' names, etc. There's all these things that we know that we know. So according to this concept, that's 3% of all the knowledge that exists in the world. Now, it's just a concept. There's, of course, no science to this. It's just an idea that can help you create a breakthrough. So the next area is all the things you know that you don't know. Like you know you don't know how to fly an airplane. Unless you do, you know you don't know how to you know do uh, fill a cavity in, in your in your mouth unless you're a dentist, right? You know you don't know how to do that. There's all these things that you know that you don't know, and that's seven percent of all the knowledge that exists in the world. So that leaves us with the remaining ninety percent, and the remaining ninety percent are things that you don't know. You don't know. You don't know that you don't know. So it's not in the known realm for you. So you have no access to it until it's in the known realm. So when we go from don't know, don't know, into the known realm, it creates a breakthrough possibility. So as you're learning these ideas, sometimes I'm going to teach you an idea, and you're going to go, you know what, I know that one, and I haven't been doing it. Or you're going to go, hey, I know that one, and I've been doing it. Yay, good, good job for me, right? Or you're going to learn an idea and go, wow, I never heard of that one before. So when we go from don't know, don't know, into the known realm, it creates a breakthrough possibility. Like just a little simple example. I wrote this little thin book here many years ago, 21 Ways to Close More Sales Now. And this was pre-Amazon. And then Amazon came out, and I published the book, and now I teach people like you how to publish a little book like this if you're interested. Well, if you publish a book like this, did you know 
that you could create your own Amazon author page. An Amazon author page is kind of like a Facebook page, but it's on Amazon. Amazon is one of the top websites, most hit websites in the world every day. So if somebody Googles you and you have an Amazon author page, that Amazon author page is likely going to show up number one, on page one of your Google, Google search. So if you want your own Amazon author page, then you buy a little book, could be a big book or a little book like this, okay, and Am Facebook, Amazon will let you create an Amazon author page. Well, some of you didn't know that. So you go from don't know, don't know, into the known realm, and it creates a breakthrough possibility. And that is pretty darn exciting. When you get a new piece of information, and on this call, typically I'm sharing, you know, one to five golden nuggets per day, and every once in a while you're going to go, huh, I never heard it like that before. I've never heard of that idea. Boom, comes right into the subconscious mind, and it creates a breakthrough possibility. Okay, next idea I want to share with you is how you can become more powerful. Not powerful in a bad way, powerful in a great way. Powerful in a beautiful way. Powerful in a way where you can have a greater impact with your family. You can have a greater impact at your company. You can have a greater impact in your community. You can have a greater impact with your clients or customers. And it is to look at things from other people's perspective. So the world I live in, the seat that I sit in, is one where I spend a lot of my time thinking about things from other people's perspectives because that's my job. Right? If I'm on a coaching call, if I'm coaching you, I'm looking at life through your viewpoint. If I'm working with my staff, I'm doing my best of my ability to look at things from my staff's viewpoint. If I'm selling or trying to persuade somebody, that's all about looking at things from the other person's viewpoint. Uh, with my children, with my wife, with my family, I'm looking at – because. It's, it's just part of how my day goes. But a lot of people's days isn't like that. So our, our common kind of default way of thinking is I'm going to look at things from my perspective, right? So if you want to become more powerful, you want to strengthen that muscle of looking at things from other people's perspectives, and that will give you a whole different level of insight. So if you're having a disagreement with somebody, you're having conflict, could be personal relationship, could be a business relationship. It could be in your own home, right? I could have conflict with one of my kids, for example, right? So if I'm having conflict, then if I want to gain a, a higher level of power, it's about me looking at it from, say, my daughter's perspective. What's it like being my 15-year-old daughter living inside of our home, right? So I enter her world and view her experience from her perspective. And we all have the ability to do this. Enter the world of the other person and look at their experience from their perspective. Now, if you're in disagreement, or even if you're not, you enter their world, and then you start a dialogue with them, a conversation, and you listen. And you let them speak. And you really understand as best you can through their words. They're articulating their experience. And you get a sense of, okay, this is where they're coming from. Now, as human beings, we have the need to be heard. We have the need to be listened to. So part of my power is I can be in a communication with somebody. Like I can get in a communication with you, and I can just listen. And I don't need to fill the space with my words. I can just be there present with you and just listen. And if we're having that communication and you're sharing, and I'm listening, and you feel heard, that is a very powerful place to come from 
in a communication with somebody. Because people have the need to be heard. There's a, 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 a saying, it's a, one of the seven principles from um, Highly Effective People, the Stephen Covey book. And it's my favorite one. And it goes like this. Seek first to understand, then be understood. Seek first to understand, then be understood. So a lot of my communication power comes from living that principle. So it's like, all right, well, where are you coming from? What's your perspective? And then, then just listen. And after people share and they feel heard, it transforms the communication. So if you're in conflict and you want to diffuse conflict, it's about listening to the other person and having them feel heard. And then after they're heard, then you share. Seek first to understand, then be understood. This isn't true in sales too. When you're selling, if you're following my methodology and you ask probing questions, you want to really understand where this other human being is coming from with their wants and needs based on your product or service. So that tip is now top of mind for you as you go through your day today. So when you go get your Starbucks, it's like, what's it like working at Starbucks? And you can just kind of like imagine what it's like for this human being. You know, I thought my daughter was going to be all excited. I have three daughters, two stepdaughters and my daughter. And I asked my daughter, I'll check in with her. Hey, where are you at? One to ten. I'll ask her that question on a regular basis to kind of take her temperature of where her mood is at, where she's at as a human being. And yesterday I said, where are you at? One to ten. She goes, life in general, seven or eight. But I'm a little nervous. And I was like, uh, okay, why are you nervous? She goes, well, we start school tomorrow. And I haven't been in school with um, a lot of these kids that I'm going to be in school with. And that was just causing her to be anxious, kind of like the first day of school, right? And I totally understood where she was coming from. And it was really nice because I could align with her and I could be there for her as her dad and hear her express her concern where she felt heard. And that's a powerful thing. So a couple things as we wrap up. You have unique gifts and talents. You are better than 90% of the global population at certain talents that you were born with. Maybe you're really organized. Or maybe you're really good as a listener. Or maybe you're really good at leadership. Or maybe you're really good, you have compassion for others. So there are certain gifts and talents that you have that you're better than 90% of the global population, not from an ego standpoint, but just that's what the truth is. So just know for your own self-confidence, your own self-esteem, that you have unique gifts and talents. And I also want you to know that you have a purpose in life. Every one of you that's watching this right now or listening right now, I want you to know that you have a purpose in life. And not only do you have a purpose, you have a lot of purposes. You have, I think, most likely hundreds of purposes in life. Right now, there are many of you on Facebook Live that are commenting in the chat. And I would suggest that part of your purpose in life, when you connect with me on the Facebook Live, those of you that comment, is to comment. Because you're, you're creating value for this call by by sharing on Facebook right now. And you go, what do you mean, Eric? Commenting on Facebook is my purpose in life? I, I would argue it's one of them. It's probably not your main purpose. But today, on April 6, 2021, those of you that are commenting live or on the replay, you are here to, to create value for this group. You are here to show up and receive value, and you are here to give value. And when, when you look at life like that, one of my younger clients, he's 10 years old. And so part of my purpose in life was to show up for this 10-year-old and to, to mirror his greatness for him. And so as you go through your life, if, if you accept what I'm teaching you right now, that you do have purpose and many purposes, what that can do for you is it can say, 
I matter. I'm important. I'm relevant. I'm here for a reason. And that can help build your confidence and your self-esteem. That can help reduce or eliminate depression. That can help reduce or eliminate anxiety. Just to know, I'm here for a reason. I meaning you. Many reasons. There are people that you're here to touch in different ways to support them. So we give value, we receive value. We give value, we receive value. Today's bonus video is on the prospecting game. If you'd like a copy of the video, text or email me at 916-626-1945 or email me at eric at ericoffhome.com and ask me for today's bonus video. This is a four-minute video that teaches you how I prospect. Last night, I played the prospecting game. I sent some prospecting touches over Facebook Messenger. I woke up this morning, and I had two responses. Yay. Okay? I started off my day. I had two positive responses from prospecting that I did yesterday because I played the prospecting game. So if you want to learn how I do it, it's a four-minute video to teach you how I do it. It's wonderful. It's been wonderful to be with you here this morning. Again, an extra special shout-out to Harry Newhand for the contribution he's making to salesmanders all over the world by launching his podcast today. And if you'd like a copy of his podcast, send me a text or an email. You can ask me for Harry's podcast, and you can ask me for today's bonus video. My last request is this. If you know somebody that could benefit from this call, just type them in, in the, uh, on Facebook. Tag them. Tag them, say, hey, here's a great message. I think you might enjoy it. And any, any day moving forward, guys, you can, on Facebook, if you're, on, if you're in the chat, just type in their name. Say, hey, I think you'd enjoy this. Check it out. Or you can hit the share button and tag them. Hey, check this out. think you'd enjoy it. Have a wonderful, successful, productive day. You have greatness inside of you. I want you to know I'm in your corner. I believe in you. Your best days are in front of you. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Sharon, down in Southern California, I see you on the conference call line. Sharon, you have greatness inside of you. Abe, I see you on the conference call line. Abe, have a great day today. Eric in Canada, I see you here. Eric, have a great day today. You have greatness inside of you. Don, I see you on the conference call line. Don, you have greatness inside of you. Have a great day today. Walia, great to see you here this morning. Thank you for joining me on the conference call line. You have greatness inside of you. You're going to have a great day today. Sissy on the conference call line, you have greatness inside of you. Sissy, you are going to have a great day today. I'll look forward to connecting with you guys tomorrow. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.